and Chica Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Mother's Day to each and every mother out there. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers to be out there. Happy Mother's Day to all those fathers that do have to sometime play that mother role because for whatever reason, much, much love to each and every one of you. It has been a beautiful day. Um, I have had actually a very last weekend and um, yeah, I don't even know where to begin. So um, for starters, uh, my son graduated from college yesterday. He now has a degree in human resources. It was a beautiful day. I will include some of the footage um, here below so you guys can just kind of check out that day. Um, needless to say, this past week have just been like a lot going on and just some things that I just, you know, prefer to keep private to my family. You know, guys know I just came off of my 10 day vacation where I took you guys along and I enjoyed every moment of vlogging it with you all and having you guys be a part of it. And towards the end of the vacation, I did the, well, the last day, I started to feel ill and I just didn't feel good on the road trip back. Um, pretty much most of the road trip. So it, were, um, it was very scale. Hey there, Chica Pies, how we doing? How we feeling? Happy Mother's Day to each and every one of the mothers out there and to all the mothers to be. Happy Mother's Day. To all the grandmothers out there, happy Mother's Day because you know you had to become a mother before you could become a grandmother. So happy Mother's Day to you as well. And to all the fathers out there that have to play that dual role, happy Mother's Day to you. Because I like to give props to that because having raised my son as a single mother, I always appreciate it when my friends acknowledge on Father's Day that I had to do the dual role, even though he does and have an active father in his life, but when there is one parent that's doing the day-to-day -day, uh, care, they need to get acknowledged for those extra little things that they have to do. So definitely, definitely, definitely. I am um, actually coming back from TJ Maxx. I um, went to pick up my Mother's Day gift. I had a beautiful morning with my son, my daughter-in-law, my grandson. They came over. My son made breakfast for the two of us and um, used my kitchen and cleaned it all up and everything and just... You know, just pampered us today. We sat out on the patio and just had quality time together. And it was this absolutely beautiful day. Um, just enjoying watching my grandson play. And, you know, just it was just such a beautiful day to just have that quiet family time. Um, it's been a very hectic weekend because uh, he graduated from college yesterday. He is now a college graduate. He has a degree in human resources. So I'm so proud of him. And uh, that was a very, very special day. So it's, it's actually been a very special weekend as a mom, just not for today, but like just a whole weekend. And um, it, it was his ex, uh, not his ex, but it was his mother-in-law's birthday yesterday as well. So, you know, it's just been full of celebrating. We, we did the graduation, we did dinner. And then, like I said today, they came to my house this morning and we're gonna spend the afternoon with her mom. So it's just been like an awesome, awesome day. And I'm just, I feel very, very blessed to, you know, to say that I have had this beautiful day thus far and um, got some beautiful cards, got beautiful flowers. Um, he also gave me a gift card. You know, those are the best. I got pictures. Uh, my daughter-in-law is so good about putting together family type things for like those little knickknack type things that uh, represent their family and their grandmothers just love to have to sit on their desk or you know display somewhere in their home where they just get to brag it's like their bragging rights or whatever so you know I got tons of that kind of stuff and just an awesome awesome day and um, I want to say I guess my last gift of the day was um, I was uh, given the opportunity to go and get my purse off lay away um, I don't know if I'm gonna put that video up or not at this point because honestly I'm like man if I put this one up and then not that one but you guys always tell me whatever videos I put up you guys are always happy to see but in case I don't I will tell you all that on Friday when I left work I ended up going home I mean well before I went home I stopped off at TJ Maxx and I picked up a couple of dresses well um, at Marshall's I picked up a couple of dresses okay guys and then yesterday I picked up a um, 
well, no, on Friday I picked up a couple of dresses. One of the dresses I wore yesterday to my son's graduation, and it was a um, free people dress, absolutely gorgeous. It was a maxi dress, it was navy blue, just beautiful. And this was a little sundress that I had picked up, by the way, at um, Ross on our road trip. When I was uh, telling you guys and showing you guys the stuff that I got from Old Navy, I did mention that I had gotten a little $10 dress from Ross. It's just a little tube dress, nothing fancy, but it's like that perfect dress to throw on on a day like today when you just want to be comfortable and you don't want to throw a lot of effort into it. Because honestly, y'all, this girl was so super comfortable that I was just like, I don't even care if I walk out of my house today. But then um, he decided he wanted to take me out to grab a quick bite to eat. And we're trying to do the healthy thing. So, like, honestly, I'm not having, like, a, I'm not going to some fancy restaurant. We've been spending a lot of money, so that's not important to me anyway. But we're just going to go grab some quick food, and then we're going to the movies, and um, we're going to come back home. So, it's actually going to be kind of a later evening because we normally try to do the movies earlier in the afternoon. But um, this movie doesn't start until, like, 7.15. So, I'm kind of like, oh, man, I'm going to be tired tonight. But, anywho, we're going to the movies. But... I had mentioned to him that I saw this purse and that I absolutely loved and I put it on layaway and that I wanted it and so he did tell me this morning uh, because I hadn't really told him I've been telling him like several things I wanted for Mother's Day I was like first I said perfume and then I was like no I don't want perfume and then I said I want a Victoria's Secret um, gift card because I do need some more bras and stuff from Victoria's Secret so I'm like needing and desperate need of Victoria's Secret gift cards but then I was like, no, that's a necessity item. I don't want you to give me that either. I want something that I got really want. Like, you know, like I want that fun gift for Mother's Day. So when I saw this purse, and I really didn't think he would tell me to go ahead and get it because, A, he doesn't get off on spending, like, money like that for holiday, like, like that kind of money for, like, Mother's Day and stuff like that. Cause, or for a purse even, like, even, no matter what. Those kinds of things I usually just do myself because I don't want to hear his mouth about, like, how expensive it is and it doesn't make any sense although he doesn't get when he goes out like when we go out to dinners and stuff like that like how many times he spent 40 and 50 dollars on drinks at 10 dollars a pop most of the time he doesn't acknowledge that at all so um yeah so i just don't like to hear his mouth so i generally get that kind of stuff i just go ahead by myself like i don't even want to hear it but i was mentioning it to him this morning i was all like you know i really want this purse and he was like um uh, well you go go get it like he like said you know here here it is go get it here's the money go get it so I ended up running to get it and guys I'm so excited like I love it um of course it's not my delightful that I want from Louis Vuitton but it is uh it is a very nice bag it is by Fry and y'all know I love me some Fry uh things like I have my Fry boots I have the green Fry purse that I, you guys probably I don't know if you guys have ever seen me carry that purse I probably can't, like, I've been doing vlogs for videos forever, so I'm sure you guys have, but, um, I got it, like, I don't know, a few holidays, year, well, a few years ago, and I can't remember if it was for Mother's Day or if it was for my birthday. I don't even remember now. It's been so long, but I've had it, and I haven't carried it in a while, which I'm kind of like, I, I need to pull that baby out and give it some love to someone. Like, that would have been a, a great pop of color with this dress if, had I not do on the turquoise earrings, but... Anyway, so you guys are wanting to see my purse. I'm sure you're like, girl, will you stop talking and show me the bag? So um, the only thing that worries me about this purse is like, and I have turned down purses like this several times before, is it because the, stra the straps stay up? However, I've been seeing so many bags like that now. Like, I'm like, okay, maybe this is like the way, like the way of the world, like now, like, you know, you're supposed to like do this now. So I, I mean, I just kept looking at it. And I was like, gosh, it has all the other aspects of it that I really like. So maybe I just want to give it a try. Um, so anyway, it is a fry bag. It has the pockets on either side. Um, we're going to be so late, y'all. we got to hurry up and get to these movies. I will get, we're going to grab something to eat like super duper quick. Um, but it has the pockets on, I don't know if you guys can see the pockets when I'm driving. So I can't like take my hand off the steering wheel right now anyway. So let me see if I'm at this point. Like right here are pockets on both sides. And then it has the pockets on the inside and it has the pockets, the zipper placed on the inside as well. So it is a perfect purse for, um, you know, having all your little goodies and stuff in it. And so I'm super excited about my bag. Um, like I said, the only thing that worries me is the strap situation. Like I'm like, okay, is this gonna freak me out or what? Because I can't lay my straps down. 
but then it's like when they're not, I don't know. I think I'll be okay. I'm, I'm a little bit worried about it. Okay, so guys, I'm so, so sorry. I kind of like just like dropped you guys like right in the middle of that vlog when I was coming home, but we were trying to hurry up and get to the movies and I was already running later than what I wanted to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I just text, was just texting with one of my uh, subscribers and saying that I was feeling better. And, and I'm like, man, my throat is so really scratchy because yesterday in the, in the auditorium, I sat literally like right underneath the AC and I had actually just washed my hair and my hair was still a little bit damp. So I actually think I might take some cold medicine tonight because I'm really feeling like I could be catching that cold, you know, like from sitting under the AC type of feeling. So and I'm not trying to be sick, y'all. So I literally just text her, oh, I'm feeling better because she was asking me how I was feeling from the trip. Never mind all the mess behind me, but you guys know we've had a Mother's Day thing going on here and that was some of the food left over over there and... You guys know I keep it real on this channel. This is what the house looks like right now. But just to kind of show you once more, here is my bag. I absolutely love my bag so, so much. Um, I carried it to the movies today and I really liked having the two pockets on the side. And so far, this handle hasn't bugged me um, as much as I thought that it would. So we're going to see how it goes throughout the next couple of days of me carrying it uh, but yeah that is it right now I do love it so so much and I think you know if I just push the handles over if I really needed to I can kind of push them down and they'll kind of like stay kind of down a little bit so I am really really loving it I'm going to turn the camera around and show you guys some of my other Mother's Day things that I got and I have a gift card floating around here somewhere but I don't know where I put it so I got to look for it but let me show you real quick look at my jack y'all didn't tell me I was looking like this I'm looking all toe up my goodness, my jacket collar was all bent down. But um, let me take out my, my Ray-Bans. Put those there. But this is the little sundress that I got. Like I said, I got this at Ross, Dress for Less, for like $9.99. And it's really, really cute. It's just one of those little tube dresses. And I mean, there is nothing special to it at all. The blue dress, I did wear it yesterday. And I was going to, I'll have pictures inserted, but you won't really see much of the dress. I am going to show you guys just a little bit of the graduation just so you guys can see a proud grandmother and you know just how much our family enjoyed celebrating but you really won't see the dress but I pulled out my Gucci bag that was given to me from Diane I carried that yesterday with my navy blue dress it was the bomb and I actually just took my stuff out of it today to put my stuff back in well not back into but put my stuff into my new purse but so that's what I'm gonna be carrying for the next few days so I can check it all out make sure I love it but yeah so let me turn this camera around so you guys can see some other things that I got for Mother's Day so, like I told you guys, my son uh, bought me some, well, I don't know, did I tell you all this? But my son bought me some Texas wildflowers with a few roses thrown in there. There's a rose and there's a rose. And just, you know, he picked these out, I think he said at H-E-B, but he just wanted me to have some flowers on Mother's Day. So, he got me those, which I absolutely love because I am more of a natural look for flowers, like roses and stuff like that. I don't see the purpose and all the money that's spent on those, they just, you know, I mean, they're just roses. I don't know. I just, I mean, they're fine if someone gives them to me. Uh, but if you ask me about preference, actually, I wouldn't even pick flowers because they die in a few days. But when someone gives them to me, I'm always thankful and I do appreciate them. So um, I cut them down a little bit so that you could see um, they could fit into this little small base that I had. And I just kind of felt like they would look uh, just perfect setting at that angle and so I really really like them I think they look pretty I'm gonna set them back on my little bar area and um, just enjoy them and then I got some super nice cards I've got um, my son always gives me his own card which is a very special card from him then this is the one from my daughter-in-law him and my grandson and then that's the one from James he got me a funny one this time and I kind of laughed and I said yeah I said this one actually tells the truth because it says that he snores in bed. So that was perfect. And then that little picture back there, um, it's my grandson. And it has a little plaque that says some things. And then, like I said, I did get some gift cards as well. So that is my Mother's Day gifts uh, that I got this year. Uh, more importantly, that I just enjoyed the day spending it with my son and my grandson and my daughter-in-law. And then, we, like I said, we went out to the movies. Uh, we ended up leaving the movies, actually. Okay. So, yeah, we ended up leaving the movies because we went to see a movie that was not, we didn't like it. So, we ended up leaving and we're actually getting ready to put on our PJs and then we're going to sit and watch Queen Sugar 
and just kind of like have that quiet type of an evening. I might make myself a cup of coffee. I'm not real certain as of right now. Um, I'm kind of maybe thinking I want some coffee, but I'm not sure. But we're just going to kind of wind down for the evening. We ended up going to Nukes. Um, I'm probably, I never think I'm saying that right. Nukes, Nukes, however you say it. I think it's N-E-W-K-S. I think it's how you spell it. But anyway, I had a nice salad and, um, and then I got popcorn at the movie. So, but anyway, we're back home now. We're getting ready to sit down and watch some Queen Sugar and just kind of chill. I can't even remember. I think the name of the movie was Overboard. Not saying that you guys wouldn't like it because, you know, we all have different tastes, but it just, it was, I don't like stupid comedies and this one was just blatantly stupid. And so I was thinking he was enjoying it because I know he does like a little bit more comedy stuff than I do. So I was like, oh, he's probably enjoying this movie. And, you know, so I wasn't going to be a butt and be like, Ugh, really? But I was thinking to myself, I'm not getting this. And everyone in the movie theater, y'all, I mean, they were like literally like butt gusting laughing. And I'm like, it's stupid. <laughs> it's el stupido. <laughs> so it was hilarious. But then he made the comment, Queen Sugar. And I was like, are you wanting to leave? And he was like, yep. And I was like, peace out, bro. <laughs> so off we went. So we're back home now. And like I said, we're just going to kind of wind down. So I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye to you guys. Again, I would like to wish all of my mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. You know the routine. Mothers, grandmothers. Mothers to be, those fathers that are having to play that dual role, happy, happy Mother's Day. And I will see you guys. I think I'm back on track now. So this is pro I did this one on my cell phone so I can go ahead and upload it really quick tonight. But hopefully tomorrow I'll be back on track to doing some more vlogging throughout the week. I just this week just took me a bit to get myself back acclimated to being back at work, back at home, and all that good stuff. So anywho, I will see you guys in my very next vlog. I love you, love you, love you, love you. Mwah.